the intake, man. guys welcome back to the channel today we are going for a pov night drive in a stage two tuned audi rs3 saloon yes it's the first saloon i've driven in a very long time i've done a few features back in the day but the last few cars i've had on the website have been hatchback so it's going to be interesting to see if there's any difference i don't think there is going to be any difference some say these are more stable they say they're more aerodynamic especially when it comes to highly modifying these i think the saloon is the preferred option this car is running some nice mods we'll do a quick little walk around back of the unit and then yeah, we'll go hit the strip and see what she's like. So enjoy the video. Can't slow me down like speed hump. No. Keep up when I speed up. See your future, that's my past. Yeah. See the smoke when I drive past. Yeah. Fast lane, living life fast. So as mentioned, I'm gonna do you a quick walk around before we jump out. As you can see, it is a 67 plate. It's a full service history car. I think it was around 42,000 miles on the clock. So obviously got the aluminium block which makes it handle that bit better. Rework suspension, although this car has got a lot of suspension components. Just head over to the website if you wanna see the full description. But you can see Max and Splitter finishing, I think, Aura Blue, if that's how you pronounce it. You can see we've got the LCI headlights. And uh, usually I like to de-chrome cars, but I think it works really well on this RS3. So you've got the chrome with the black, obviously the Motec alloys and the blue bodywork. I think it looks really, really cool. If I was after an RS3, it would definitely be a saloon, I think. Chrome mirrors, chrome trims. We've got the S-Tronic dual clutch transmission, diamond quilted, leather stitch seats, flat bottom steering wheel, virtual display. You can see all the red accents around the air vents. Sorry about the lighting, guys. But it is a night POV drive, of course. But yeah, guys, this car is running 520 horsepower. It stays to tuned by Bevo. It's also running gearbox software, so the clamping pressure has been upped. It makes the shift a lot faster. The car's actually got upgraded Bilstein suspension. It's got upgraded anti-roll bars. It's had a Geo setup. We've got Michelin Pilot Sport 4S tires. There's a lot of other components, which I've definitely not mentioned, like upgraded intercooler. It's got iRoz, catch can, and the whole description will be on the website. I just wanted to do your walk around so you can actually see the way this car sits, because it's just absolutely beautiful. If you're after an RS3, free guys get a saloon trust me anyway let's jump in the cabin and go for a drive let's go champ let's go champ audi rs3 and that so yeah let's go for a little cruise obviously you will know the rs3s and uh this car probably the third or fourth rs3 running the motec ultra lightweight alloys um, i've said it many times it feels lighter from the wheel so the car just responds quicker and, and in return that means uh, it usually inspires a bit more confidence so if you're more confident driving your car it means that you'll drive it faster not literally in a straight line but yeah you can grab it by the scruff of the neck a bit more uh, and this is a 2000 some silly people on the road it's strange because it's literally 13 minutes past six you think it's like late and there's no traffic but yeah there's literally traffic everywhere yeah so guys stay stay tuned by bevo i'm just gonna quickly put my foot down man that 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 feels more than stage two that's like stage two plus apparently 520 horsepower 705 newton meters of torque it's got upgraded drop links, anti-roll bars, it's running the Bilstein adjustable suspension. Uh, so clearly the previous owner was focused on handling. Uh, although this is a facelift, it's lighter on the front, it's had reworked suspensions. You're not going to beat a set of Bilstein. Literally put 30 quid in and I've got two bars of fuel. It's actually ridiculous. Uh, but yeah, we've got the flat bottom steering wheel. We've got these huge carbon paddles. You probably can't see properly, uh, but almost like this Aventador style. Not a fan of the wheel. Let me just turn the light on. It's got these like almost, I don't know, man. They don't look like it's meant to be in there. I'd prefer the stock wheel. Um, it's got this weird chunky sort of grip here. Almost like if any of you lot have played like those aeroplane simulators where you've got like a helicopter. It's just this weird chunky grip yeah it's a bit off putting i'd prefer just a normal flat bottom wheel but yeah we've got dual clutch transmission some of these newer german cars don't actually have to replace clutches you can actually just up the clamping pressure which makes for a more instant shift less dragging of the clutches so yeah we're flat on the roll mm, 
nice. I feel like traction just grabbing the brakes. Pause taken. Soon come, lads. Oh, got some gunshots, yeah? Oh, you hear the intake up front, boy. Yeah, we're just going to jump on the motorway, I think. Wow, this is a very fast stage two car. Oh, hey. Now, I have to say, I'm very, very impressed with that power. So yeah, we've got dual clutch transmission, which is also running Bevo software. Shifts are nice and quick. If we flatten the throttle. Nice. Let's go left. Man. Man. <laughs> yeah, well, this feels very fast. But as I say, it's a saloon, like, I don't know. Obviously, the, the saloon is like tear shaped, so it would make sense that, that it, it slips through the air a bit better. I think the hatchbacks, I think initially acceleration, there probably won't be any difference, but I think further into the race, maybe further up the quarter mile, that's when you'll probably notice a difference with a hatchback and a saloon. Really impressed with the acceleration on this car, guys. We've got a nice bit of weight to the wheel. Um, usually when you lower the center of gravity on cars, it does sort of increase the pressure a bit, like, I'm sure this wheel usually feels a little bit lighter. But upgraded disc, it's got upgraded uh, brake pads, upgraded brake fluid, braided lines, upgraded drop links, anti-roll bars, the B14 Bilstein suspension, which is height adjustable. You've got the lightweight alloys. The owner's seriously gone to town. Like everything you could really dream to do to an RS3 has been done, you know. It's still a road car. It's soaking up bumps nicely. This is pretty bad, this bit here as well. it feels good i think the handling is different i mean we've got a lot of suspension mods haven't we but it does definitely feel more planted way more glued uh, it feels more effortless uh, as i'm turning into the corner oh i love the intake man i think it has got that rolling almost anti-lagging on the odd occasion does feel like it's yeah it kind of spools up the turbo um, i noticed in one of the previous rs3 videos you was some of you guys were saying oh it's slipping the clutches but it's not let's turn traction off because i do notice it hesitating ever so slightly man this car sounds ridiculous That is sick. That is just <laughs> right. So, guys, I'm gonna end the video there. As always, if you enjoyed it, hit the thumbs up, subscribe if you're new. If anyone wondering why I've been a little bit quiet over the last couple of weeks, because I am back to filming content for LLF. I'm trying to film as much as I can so I can drop it all at the same time. I don't want to sort of drop one video here and there. I want to really try and wake the algorithm up and um, see what we can do. Let's see if we can send LLF. Algorithm might just be over. I don't know. I don't know if it's even something that can be recovered and guys remember you can win this car for 199 ticket link in the description odds are literally ridiculous on this one facebook once again have turned our adverts off which means we're probably going to take a big loss on this car but it is what it is uh, every single sunday we do our giveaways regardless and as i say 199 can't slow me down like speed hump no. keep up when i speed up see your future that's my past yeah. see the smoke when i drive past yeah. fast lane living life fast see a girl she's in my car mm. oh well that's your girl in my hotel that's five stars yeah. make the rules disappear